How to make a redstone torch key in Minecraft Bedrock. Stick around and I'll show you how. Hello everybody, I'm Rogue Fox and welcome back to another Minecraft Bedrock Edition redstone tutorial. Looking for more redstone tutorials? Be sure to check out the rest of my channel, like and subscribe. You'll find over 150 different Minecraft Bedrock redstone tutorials and be sure to check out the Truly Bedrock SMP series. A redstone torch key is a type of hidden input that is activated by, you guessed it, a redstone torch. Now, these are usually made in Java, and unfortunately, Java and Bedrock Redstone aren't the same, so the redstone torch key that is typically used in Java will not work in Bedrock Edition. But no need to worry, because we can still make our own type of redstone torch key. So let's get started. Unfortunately, in Bedrock Edition, we cannot place a redstone torch key in the middle of a floor, because like I said, there are some differences in redstone when it comes to Java and Bedrock. So for this, we will need to have a roof over it, but there is one more design that I'll show you, and it doesn't require a roof, but it does require a wall. It may not be the most practical, but it still works nonetheless. To get things started, go ahead and build your wall and have one block over for your roof. Now, the redstone lamp is going to be an indicator for when the circuit is activated, just like how I showed you in the hidden inputs video I just released. If you haven't checked that out, be sure to check it out. A card to it will be popping up in the top right corner and a link to it will be down in the description below. To make this redstone torch key, all you need are two sticky pistons, one observer, some blocks, some redstone, and then of course, your redstone torch. To make this, grab your first sticky piston, come behind the roof block and place the sticky piston facing out like this. Next, grab your observer, come down below and place your observer facing in this direction with the red dot pointing down. Now, grab your second sticky piston, come over here, and place your second sticky piston facing towards the wall, just like this. Now, go ahead and grab your blocks, place a temporary block here, a block like that, one more temporary block underneath with two blocks like this. Grab your redstone dust, and line these blocks up with redstone dust. And there we go, that's how you make it. So go ahead and grab your redstone torch, place it there, and you can see that activates. So what's going on is this redstone torch is powering that block, which is then powering that piston, pushing that observer. Once that gets pushed, that lets off a redstone output, powering this redstone, powering this block, and then powering our redstone line, which we should hook up to a T flip-flop. To make the T flip-flop, what we want to do is knock this block out here, place two temporary blocks like this, a dropper facing up, a dropper facing out, Crouch place a hopper into the bottom dropper like that. Grab a comparator, run a comparator out from the top dropper and place it on top of the hopper like so. Now go ahead and place one junk item in the bottom dropper and then place redstone dust on top of the dropper. So this is the block where we originally had the redstone. So we're replacing it with the T flip-flop like this. Now go ahead and run that comparator into a block like that. Block here with redstone dust. A block up right here. Repeater running out, and then run that repeater into a block right there. Now, when we place our redstone torch, we get our output, so it's staying on. Now, again, if this was wired up to a hidden door, hidden stairs, or anything like that, it would be revealed. And then, of course, to hide it away again, we simply activate it once again. The other redstone torch key I mentioned doesn't require a roof, as you can see, but like I mentioned, it is a little impractical because we have this block exposed right here. So this is a dropper, and I say it's impractical because one, it has to go against the wall, and unless you're decorating the trim of the floor with droppers or anything like that, or maybe you wanna to try to like work cobblestone into your design, uh, it's really, really kind of obvious that you know there's something here. So again, not the most practical thing, but I will show you how to make it anyways, just in case if you want to get creative with it or do whatever you want to do. So we grab a redstone torch, we place it right here. That breaks off. We have our output once again that is staying on. And then just like the other one, we place the redstone torch back and then that will shut it off. The build in itself is an easy one. All you need is a dropper, one observer, one sticky piston, and that's it. So let's go ahead and knock out this floor right here. Place a dropper facing down. Want to grab the observer. Place the observer facing in this direction so it detects when this gets powered. Like that, you can hear the tick, so the observer will detect that. And then place a block here. Get your sticky piston. Place it right there. 
So this part is completed. Now, just like the build over here, we do want to wire this up to a T flip-flop. I'm not going to do it for this design, but just to quickly show you how this would work, we just place a block here, block right there, redstone dust, and there you go. So you can see that's how it gets its power. Now for the T flip-flop, if you want to go ahead and take a close look at this, we have the build we just made. We have a repeater going over to our T flip-flop. And keep in mind, this is very important. We want this to be on three ticks of delay for this repeater that will power the T flip-flop. And then this part is just to power the light itself. This whole orange circuit will go to wherever your door or hidden staircase is. And there you have it, everyone. Two redstone torch key designs for Bedrock Edition. Now, if you're looking for hidden builds to apply this to, be sure to check out my hidden builds playlist. A link to it will be popping up on the screen and the link will be down in the description below. But with that being said, everyone, this is going to be the end of today's Redstone tutorial. I really hope you all enjoyed. This has been Rogue Fox, and I will see you later.